Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create. So I'm going to be going over the material list if you, if you decide you would like to make this uh, little mini album. Once again, you follow the build and construction based on the Stamperia Savannah album, and it is linked below. So first off, you will need one pack of little things 12 by 12 patterns and solids. Have to have this. You will need the little things journaling cards. I will talk about if you can't find these or they're no longer available. I will talk about what you can do if these are no longer available. So little things journaling cards. If you can find the little things journaling cards, then you will need two packs, two packs of the Little Things 8x8 paper collection. If you cannot find the journaling cards, because these tend to sell out first, and this is it's not a new collection, it's an older collection. If you cannot find these, so that's the big if. If you cannot find these and you do need journaling cards, we're using journaling cards throughout this little album. What you can do, instead of getting two packs of the 8x8, eight eight, you would get one pack of the 8x8 eight eight and one pack of the 12x12. 12 12. Why would you want a 12x12 12 12 pack? because they have cut aparts. This is the 12 by 12. You can use these cut aparts as stand-ins for the journaling cards. You may have to modify them, because let's see, we have four journaling cards in here. Horizontal one here, vertical one there, Vertical, vertical one here, the sunshine and happiness, and a horizontal one here. So what can you do? You can use these. These are all vertical. We don't have any horizontal, but you can modify them. You can turn this in this direction, and you could use, this is from the, the 12 by 12 collection too. You can place this in there. You may have to fill part of this in with some more designer paper and build it up to make it work, but it's easy enough to do. You would just modify these journaling cards or you can, if you don't wanna modify them, you can just use these and build your own journaling card with these, but these are from the 12 by 12 collection. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, um, ask me a question, but that is how you would do that. But these journaling cards, they're, they're important. They're important with the, with the, at least the way I built it. So let's go over the front cover and what you will need. The front cover, basically, I have an eight by eight of that green dotted paper in the background. That's the first thing that goes down. So that is the eight by eight collection, the green dotted paper. Then I added this strip here. This is from the eight by eight paper. I just cut it out here, here, put that strip right here. And this strip is inset about, um, ooh, let me go. That is about, um, oh, it's not quite a half an inch. Not quite a half an inch, so you can see it there. So I just kind of move that over there. So that goes down. Then you have this paper. 
And I believe that is from, yeah, that is from the Patterns and Solids. So this yellow paper back here, which measures, how wide is this? It's about three and five eighths inches wide. And I just had it going basically all the way down too. It doesn't have to, but that's the way I put that on. And that is inset about two and three quarter inches from the edge. So those that's your bottom piece. You got the green piece, this stripe, this yellow paper, and then you have this wrap around um, blue dotted paper. I have about, well, whatever, <laughs> whatever you need. Once you have this down, you just kind of put your green, um, the blue dotted paper here. I have a little reveal of the black um, base album here. And then I just wrapped it around all the way around. And there's about an inch, um, about an inch and a half on the back, about an inch and a half on the back. So it's a, it's about an inch and a half up front about, but you measure it. Go it wraps around the spine and then here, and then this is from the eight by eight, eight by eight paper. These little circle die cuts this is almost four inches, the outside diameter. You can see that's almost four inches. It's like three and three quarter inches. The, in, the circle for the window is, is almost three inches right there. And then I just used some acetate. Then I used a little um, scallop circle and I just made it about two and a quarter two almost two and oh three eighths circle diameter and then just made my own little name welcome little one and I put the baby's name and the birth date and the weight that I put down here these are also just using some circle die cuts and making this little cluster down here. This sunshine and happiness is from the 12 by 12. So if you have, if you get, do get the 12 by 12, this is from the 12 by 12. But if you do not have the 12 by 12, you can still use this. Um, there is, there is one from the eight by eight. It is smaller. But if you do have the journaling card, there is a journaling card. This journaling card says sunshine and happiness. That journaling card, you can cut this bottom part out with the ladybugs and put it down here. I can't see, put it down here. So this part of the journaling card would go down here. And this just measures um, that is about six inches down here. So that is how the front, the spine, and the back are decorated. Once you go in, this pocket is covered with the forget-me-not paper from the 8x8 is the back side of this paper. This is the eight by eight paper. This is a, a circle die cut. It is, is this a two and a half? It's, a, it's essentially almost three inches also here, diameter. This is from the patterns and solids and it's, it's on top of a 110 pound cardstock mm -hmm. here. This little pocket piece, this is a journaling card that I just folded over like that. But if you do not have this, you can use um, one of these. From, well, this is the 12 by 12. So if you don't have the journaling cards, you can make it from the 12 by 12 here. 
you just fold it over you just won't have that part on the back so there's you don't have to follow the way I did it I'm just showing you the way I did it this is that journaling card this I just cut from this journaling card again put it down there this is from is that the patterns and solids again yeah this is this little heart is from the patterns and solids so that is the first page this little strip in here is just a continuation of this eight by eight paper here this is a journaling card and these strips these are actually from the 12 by 12, but you can use it from the eight by eight. It's just a little smaller scale here, but that would be fine here. Same thing down here, it's just the bottom part of this. So this is from the eight by eight. This green dotted paper, once again, is from the eight by eight. If you have the 12 by 12, Feel free to use the 12 by 12 green paper back here. Let's see, this is all, this all, um, this is from the eight by eight, this yellow. And once again, if you have the 12 by 12, you can use the 12 by 12 paper in here, this yellow with the little hearts. Once again, you have the green dotted paper. It doesn't matter if you use it from the 8x8 or 12x12. Same thing here with the yellow hearts, 8x8 or 12x12. This strip is from the 12x12, um, but you can use the ladybugs from the 8x8. These were from the ephemera package. Oops, ephemera package, ephemera package but you do not have to get the ephemera package. Um, I only, those are the only two I used in this book. This booklet is the blue dotted paper. Um, this is the back side of this paper. Eight by eight or 12 by 12, it doesn't matter. This is from, is this the patterns and solids? No, this is the eight by eight. This is the eight by eight paper here, this red paper, eight by eight. And then I just put a little strip of blue here on both sides. It's like an eighth of an inch on both sides because I used the whole eight by eight paper and I needed to fill in just a little bit here. So I put in some blue strips, little tiny solid blue strips from the patterns and solids. The back paper is from the um, 8x8 collection. It's the 8x8 little, little red dots, ovals. You can easily use the 12x12 12 12 on the background here. This is a journaling card. Like I said, if you don't have the journaling card, you can use this cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection. And then these are just strips. These are just cut off strips. I just put blue, red, green, yellow, and blue. So these are just strips, half inch strips that you can get from your scraps. This is a chipboard element, the scatter sunshine, but you don't have to have this you can substitute something else i just had these um and i think i only have two chipboard elements in this album so that's one of them this is um this is from the eight by eight collection right here this paper Put that paper down and I just framed it with um, half inch. I think these are half inch strips. 
Yeah, it's half inch red solid strips to just frame this. Eight by eight green dotted paper. Um, used a little cut apart here. May your troubles be few, your blessings many. Used a strip of that, the flowers on the back here. This is from the eight by eight. Easily use the 12 by 12 if you did get a pack of eight by eight. This forget-me-not is eight by eight. You open this up. The pocket, once again, is that red oval. This is from the eight by eight, but if you have the 12 by 12, you can use that too. This is the little um, ladybugs here. The ladybugs here are from the eight by eight. This paper is all eight by eight, eight by eight, eight by eight. I do have, because I think I used the whole eight inches right here. I used the whole eight inches paper here. And, and so I had to add like one and a half inches of the blue solid. So I did use a lot of this paper. Technically, if you have the 12 by 12, you can use it. It's just gonna be a bigger scale. Journaling card. I put, I backed it on um, this, this flap right here is that green dotted paper again. Just put the journaling card on it. I have the journaling card. It is from the edge of the album. It is a half an inch. So I have the magnet here and it goes onto this flap, which is it's constructed the same way as um, I show you on this, the Savannah album. This is once again, that red oval paper. This is also a, a chipboard element. So I only, this is the second chipboard element, but you do not have to have this. You can use something else. And then this is from the patterns and solids. This is all patterns and solids. This once again is from the eight by eight. Let me just take this off so I can show you. Now, when I put these in, I just used my, where is it? I used my repositionable glue stick. So whoever gets this album, which will be my, my niece and her husband, if they don't want the picture here, they can take this off and put another picture in. But what I'm showing you is on this flap, this is the back of the journaling card. I used the blue ovals. This is from the eight by eight. You can easily use, if you have the 12 by 12 or another paper here, because you basically do not see much of this paper. And like I said, when I designed, I, I covered the back of the album and I really wanted to use this paper I wanted to use this scale of paper. I, I ran out and I had to kind of Frankenstein it together. But once you get the, the photo on here, there's real, you're not really seeing much of this paper anyway. And so you may not want to put this on, this paper on until you finish your album and then whatever you have left, put it on here. That's what, that's what I would do. Same thing here. I have this paper again behind here. And then this blue oval paper that's like one and a half inches. This was three and a quarter. And this is three and a quarter. So I used almost my second sheet of, of, of this paper just to back these two flaps, which um, I was running out because I really like that paper. So let me put this back here. This 
So this page. Now this page, if you see the construction in the Savannah album, you know you need to be putting this background paper on first. So the background paper, which you really can't see much, is this. There is no paper like that. What I did, because I originally put this paper down and I didn't like it. It was way too busy. So what I did is I got this paper and I covered up the flowers with strips of this blue, like this. So I just used that blue strip all the way down like this. Blue strips, wherever the, the flowers were, I covered them up. So all that was showing was the little ladybugs. This back paper measures eight and a half inches. So I will show you a picture. I'm going to be inserting a picture to show you where I actually cut this paper, widen it so it could fit end to end, and I just made one of the blue strips wider. And you can't even see it because it's here. This blue strip is about twice as wide as this, but you're not seeing it is covered up with the waterfall. But that way it extends from end to end. So I will insert the pictures and you can just look, but it's basically, you can see it doesn't quite fit end to end. You cut it and you stretch it out and then just add an, uh, an extra wide piece of that blue dotted paper. That's what I did, because I really like the way this looks. It kind of tones all the, the everything that's going on here, because this kind of got pretty wild. Um, this is a cut apart from the eight by eight, Happy Things. This is Patterns and Solids, and I just put, oh no, that's, that's just a cut apart, Patterns and Solids the green dots, and then that resume paper. And that goes back in here. The pocket is basically eight by eight, but you can use the 12 by 12 yellow paper. This is a cut apart from the um, eight by eight. Just made it into a pocket. And then I used the little ladybugs from the eight by eight up there too. Now this um, is, I think this is a modified, um, yeah, this is a modified um, journaling card. It's, it's this one. I just cut out the, the yellow part at the edge border and then I, add, I place it on top of this red, red heart paper. But for some reason, I didn't like the way this looked, but I wanted to use that The World is Full of Magical Things card, so I just modified it. So that, and these are just cut to the size that I show you in the tutorial. And then I just put strips of the solid blue there. And then Forget-Me-Not 8x8, eight eight. this is 8x8, eight eight. this is 8x8. Eight eight. Um, so that's... That's that. And then this is obviously from the same paper here, the blue oval paper. This circle is, the scallop circle is from the patterns and solids. And this circle measures 
not quite two, it's like two and a quarter inches, a little bit more than two and a quarter inches. Same thing here, blue dot, two and a quarter inches, and then I just put a circle with um, about two inches in the center, and this is from Patterns and Solids. This is eight by eight. So that's probably the most complicated page just because I did all that modification of this back panel. This is pretty easy. This is, is this patterns and solids. Yes, this is all patterns and solids. Here is the, the red oval paper. This one is actually from the 12 by 12. Or is this from, yep. Yeah. Yep, this is from the, the 12 by 12 but you can use the eight by eight also. This was a journaling card, but you can use a cut apart um, from um, a 12 by 12 if you want to put here. This is three inches, like I said, not two and a half, like the way I constructed the Savannah album. This strip is just a continuation of this paper here. And then this is from the eight by eight, the mushroom paper, this is the eight by eight. Sunshine and Happiness strip down here is from the 8x8 collection. Let's see if I have it. It's just this one here. Oops, there it is. Sunshine and Happiness right there. That was from the 8x8. This is from the 12x12, but you can use the 8x8. And then I lined the inside with this is from the patterns and solids this is all patterns and solids the back of this tape um, inside cover this is from the same paper here this is the patterns and solids that blue in the background and then built the, the pocket on top of that and I think I just use like half inch, maybe um, three quarter inch strips and then put the pocket and these pieces down on top of it. Don't have to cover the whole back side. So I think that is it. So, and then this obviously was the eight by eight. Say, save this for the back cover because this scale works for the back cover. The, the 12 by 12 scale to me was just too, too big for this. So that's it for the materials list and the basic way to lay down your designer paper. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer, answer them. And oh, I forgot, this booklet forgot to put this this booklet which measures seven and one eighth by six inches Th this is eight by eight paper so that goes in there and that's it's just a little booklet and then I used patterns and solids solid green back here so I think that I covered everything so hopefully you will not be confused on what you need to get if you decide to make this. So that's it for today, and keep on crafting. Bye.